I mean, Peter, you mentioned change, and it's, it's, it's a fundamental notion of design, and I would go even further. It's not just change, it's really breaking what was there before. Um, and, and, you know, all of us have experience going to a hospital uh, or a clinic, and that experience probably needs to be broken and rebuilt into something entirely different. A lot of designers today don't just um, design, they actually create new companies that um, break the old model. I mean, I, I, I would use, you know, Airbnb, for example, um, um, you know, as an example. That's two industrial designers who created Airbnb, and they created something that um, is, you know, breaking the old model of, 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 of the hotel, where you actually go and you stay with somebody that may give you a lot better information about the neighborhood and what to do in the city than the concierge at a, at a certain hotel. Um, so, so design is, is, can, is, is, for me, about a radical change. And we live in an era where change is accelerating, and we have technologies, but we also have, um, you know, the way people are thinking is very evolving very, very quickly. And so there is an open-mindedness towards um, moving to completely different business models, and designers um, are not afraid of breaking things, but they know how to rebuild them. They know how to put them back into something that will become the kind of experience that, that we're looking for in this day and age. Well, IDEO is involved in designing businesses, isn't that right? Well, I, th I, mean, I, I think it's, it's, it, it's this idea of being able to grapple with the design of the whole system, right? And so whether it's a business, a venture, or whether it's some other kinds of system, like a health system, the, 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 if you can pick the right scope, right, and, and, and you can certainly try and go too big and it gets too complicated, too hard to resolve, but if you can pick the right scope, and a, and a new venture, a new business is often a really great scope to pick, where you can affect everything, right? You, 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 you're not, not, so you're not just affecting the product, but you're affecting the brand, you're affecting the business model, you're, you're, um, you're affecting the organization, and you're bringing design to all of those. Um, it, it allows you to get to places that you would not have been able to get to if you if you if you're only working, let's say, with an existing company and a new and a new product, for an example, or in another case. I mean, we, we've just we've just finished working on. Uh, we work a lot in education. It's the fastest growing area that we work in, and we love it. Um, normally, we'll get asked, "Can you help us design this curriculum, or perhaps can we design this school campus?" Or, um, but we've just finished working on a project in Peru where we got to, we've got to do the whole thing, a whole new school system. That included the schools, the curriculum, the business model, the technology model, the tools that teachers use to share information, absolutely everything designed from the ground up. What kind of people were involved in that? It's a great problem. I mean, we had, we had folks with education, education backgrounds who were designers also. We had architects. We had software designers, graphic designers. Um, and then we had a remarkably uh, enlightened client. And how long does something like that take? I mean, yeah, that's also, it, for the, the design phase, it t t itself is a little less than a year. And, you know, how do you envision the future? Because you know, you're, you're not designing for today, you're designing for tomorrow. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's the same as we were talking about earlier. I mean, you, you actually have to try and build things as fast as you can. So we, so we, we were prototyping parts of this new system. We had, uh, you know, we had some ideas about how classrooms could be configured differently if you were mixing the kind of um, education you were delivering. And we were uh, working with Saul Khan, actually, I don't know who many mm -hmm. of you know, um, on, this, on this project. And, and, and we were prototyping those, those, those new classrooms almost straight away, you know. And so we, we look, you know, whenever you've got a complex system, you need to look for the bits of it you can try out as fast as you can.